Well, one that SoundsWise is very proud of is the change in response, actually by the regulatory authority, to the issue of the hybrid embryo research. And that, I think, is quite interesting. Now, I don't know whether, I mean, it's difficult for me to say whether SoundsWise should take all the credit for that because of their dialogue processes. Obviously, SoundsWise would like to, and I can understand why they would like to. But I think, actually, to my mind, um, certainly as somebody who's spoken about these issues to vast numbers of different publics in many, many public lectures over five years, I've never really been convinced that there was quite the shock horror reaction amongst the public that I was speaking to, to the shock horror reaction that the regulatory authority seemed to anticipate. And regulatory authorities are often quite blinkered. They're often very concerned about their image with government. They're often very concerned about their image with fringe groups that control more of the media than they should do. The right to life groups, for example, which in our society are not actually very big, but are highly influential because they are very vociferous. And unfortunately, regulatory authorities um, are quite susceptible to being browbeaten by those, those, those groups, those pressure groups. Now, be that as it may, there is no question that the resulting vote in Parliament in both houses when it occurred was an overwhelming yes in favour of the hybrid embryo. What I think is interesting was that there was very little abhorrence or alarm or concern about admixed embryos. And the discussion, certainly in the House of Lords, was of a very high level, I think. It, was, it showed a degree of intelligent um, and liberal thinking. Uh, and to some extent that occurred in the Commons as well. I think you'd expect it more in the Lords because, of course, there's more science in the Lords. People there um, perhaps are, feel that they may have a little less to prove and therefore they're prepared to be quite independent and so on. But nonetheless, that was clearly there. Now, how much the science-wise um, dialogue process contributes to that, I don't know. But the very fact that the HFEA changed its mind, did a, 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 a U-turn of 180 degrees, suggests that, that, that it was quite important. Mm -hmm.